This is a game board of all the game requests that have been made so far during the subathon, and it is actually getting really long. We are currently here on day 22, and we can actually scroll through this whole entire thing. You can see who made every single game request. And what we're going to be doing is at the very end of the subathon, after I have played every single game request that people have made during subathon, we are going to get a Mario Party dice, and I am going to play through this entire game board. What I'll do is I'll spin the die, and whatever score I land on, I will play that game on stream for another hour and a half. And then once I've done that, I will roll the dice again, go to the next space, and play that next game for an hour and a half until we've made it through the entire game board. Now my guesses are this game board is going to be around twice as long by the time we're actually done with Subathon, but that is going to be a really fun way for us to re-interact with all of the game requests that people made before we potentially make another game board next year. But Brando has been helping me put together these presentations, so shout out to Brando, been a great teammate. And, oh, the other thing we're going to do for the game board is all these day, like day one, day two, they're all gonna be replaced with chance cards or draw cards, kind of like Monopoly, how you land on a chance space, you draw a card and it tells you to do something. We're gonna make a bunch of chance cards and we'll replace all the day number spaces with chance spaces. Over the past 22 days, I have been live streaming on Twitch every single day and we have almost streamed for over 200 hours. This has all been a part of our subathon, which is a stream marathon where I play a lot of game requests from the two clan every single day. And I am having the time of my life. And one of the mods, Brando, put together this presentation that shows a bunch of information and stats related to the subathon that is still going on. We still have 30 hours on the clock and we'll be streaming for probably another full week for subathon. So come through, hang out and game with us, especially on community game nights, which you can see me talk about on the Discord and on Twitter. All right, let's go ahead and get into these stats. So this is as of the end of day 21. So Subathon 3 overview. As of 21 days, we've had an uptime of 196 hours. Our peak subscriber count has been 591 subs and we've played a unique 37 games. But lots of those games have been played multiple times because we've had 79 gaming sessions in the past <laughs> 21 days. Now we're zooming in on the timer. The peak time so far has been 49 hours and 53 minutes, and that happened on day 14. I believe that's when we did our very first subathon power hour. You can see this is a line graph showing where the timer has been at the end of each day. Right now we're in a pretty good spot, but we are in a dip, so you might want to invest into some toucan coin as soon as possible. Time for some breakdowns. 62% have come from Streamlabs, 29% from subs, and 8% from bits. Thank you all so much for your support. Our average start time has been around 4.50 p.m. <laughs> My goal has been 4 p.m., so I'm not quite hitting that mark the way I want to. And our average end time is 2.10 a.m., which my average end time that I want to have is 2 a.m., so that's pretty much been on average. And then <laughs> the earliest we've started was 2 p.m. That was probably a pretty good day for me. And the earliest end time was around 10 p.m., where I had to leave to go to a concert. Latest start time was 8.15 p.m., and that's because I worked during the day. We once stayed up to 5.30 a.m. because I could not sleep. Moving on to the most popular game console, which is the Switch. Been playing a lot of that Switch. Our favorite games have been in fifth place, Metroid Prime HD. I am loving that game so much. Celeste, we're getting close to 100%ing Celeste. That has been one of our missions. Tears of the Kingdom, got a lot more progress in Tears of the Kingdom done. Ukulele, we've been playing a ton of this because we did a Versus and I've just been playing it for regular Let's Play. And then in first place, we still have Mooter, Majora's Mask Ocarina of Time combined randomizer that we are playing to practice for the official Attacking Toucans Mooter this summer. And then the most popular community game is Marbles and will remain Marbles for the rest of the subathon. 
Next is the Barnyard Brawl, which long ago in 2023, the battle for dominance began between pigs and ducks. Almost a year later in 2024, the champions still fight for their supremacy. We have Team Hannibal and Team Duckster. So far, Duckster has won 68 individual races and Hamable is at 43. Now we can see the scores on community game days. There's a chance for a lot more points, which is why the scores go up a lot on day four. Typically, they only go up by about one point per day. By day 10, Ducks had a lead by five points. And then next community game day, it went up by another big chunk. Ducks up by six points. Then here's the current week. As of right now, Ducks are in the lead by eight points, but maybe this all might change on the next community game day happening Thursday. These are the brave Marvels who have won the most individual races for their team. Wait, have I really? I mean, I've been here for every single race, so technically makes sense. Invited kid mirroring me take storm underneath me edwin bailey and brecken and joel that's really cool information and then for one of our goals we randomized a pizza and we got an uncut epic stuffed crust with light cheese double bacon and mushroom it was pretty gross video coming out on this i think tomorrow we have some twitch stats we love some interesting information we've had over 8,000 unique faces come and peek in on the subathon in the first three weeks with almost a million minutes watched by the people who have been here. Holy crap. Average number of viewers has been. You can't see it because the chat is there. But it's been 69. Nice. Most people have been watching on computer. Next is Android, followed by iOS. And then a small percentage of people are watching on their television. And 1% of people are watching on their smart fridges. Wheel stats. We have spun 29 five-part wheels. We have done three graveyard wheels and six wide wheels. Next graveyard wheel will be spun at the sub goal of 700. Most requested wheel choice has been Roller Coaster Tycoon Deluxe. Wait, has it really? And it still hasn't won yet. I did not realize that was the top requested game. That actually really surprises me. Nimpok has won the most wheels with five. <laughs> and the longest redemption streaks have been Xenoblade, Terraria, and DK64 with two streaks. Quadson has been praised a total of 4,390 times. All praise Quadson. And thank you everybody who has watched, chatted, moderated, donated, or rated so far. Like for seriously, the fact that I get to do this and put on the show for you guys is so much fun and I'm very blessed, but it could not happen without viewers like you. So definitely, muchas gracias. <laughs>